Even in China, the Starbucks have changed to Christmas cups and all the malls are playing Christmas music. So I think it's time for the badminton gift guide. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. I'm an American living and playing badminton in China, but today you could just call me Badminton Claus because we are gonna talk about gifts because the holiday season is coming. Now, one problem with gifts of badminton and badminton stuff is Badminton is very international and different countries have different items and it's hard to find some things even by the same company like Yonex or Leaning or Victor. They have different products in different countries. So I have tried as best I can when I recommend something or suggest something as a gift. I've tried to find a link that I put in the description below. They are not affiliate links. If you buy it, I make no money. So this is just stuff that I really think is fun for a badminton lover to get for Christmas. Also, I'm gonna maybe assume that you don't know anything about badminton, okay? I know many of you that watch this, you know all about badminton, but I think there might be some people that like have a kid on their high school badminton team or they got their coworker for Secret Santa and the only thing they know about their coworker is playing badminton, so they just Googled like, best gifts for badminton players. So I am going to approach everything like you don't know anything about badminton, just so I can include like the biggest audience because badminton players love getting badminton stuff. And if you can find some badminton stuff and give it to them for Christmas, that's gonna be an excellent gift. So I'm gonna take off this hat because <laughs> Shaman is like, 28 degrees right now and I'm already sweating without wearing that heavy hat so we're gonna do this without a hat. It's definitely not a Christmas feeling here in southern China. Okay now your first instinct might be to want to buy a racket because that is obviously a very important piece of equipment for every player and it's expensive and it would be a really nice generous gift. The only problem is I'm not gonna recommend it. Badminton rackets come in many, many different flavors. There's no such thing as the best badminton racket. It depends on the type of person and their playing style. Unless you know exactly the brand and the model of the racket that they like, don't get it. You could of course always ask them, but then your gift won't be a surprise. <laughs> so if you really wanna get a racket as a gift, cause it is a very generous gift, you could go to a badminton store and get a gift certificate and give it to the person. But I don't recommend buying a racket. The same goes for badminton shoes. One shoe that's perfect for somebody could be incredibly uncomfortable for someone else. So it's really a personal preference and strings very necessary for every player and players go through them often but again you have to know the exact string that players like and i have these strings in a package because i don't use them <laughs> somebody gave them to me but i do not use victor strings i use leaning number one so if you buy strings it's it's a nice thought but totally worthless because i don't use these strings can you buy well shuttles <laughs> these are for sure appreciated by every single badminton player on the planet shuttles are not cheap they are necessary and you go through them really fast so i know and i've heard from a lot of viewers that fights are started over shuttles and who brings the shuttles <laughs> because they're such a pain so if you are going to buy shuttles um there are many brands and there are different kinds but Nobody would be upset if you bought the Yonix Aerocena brand. There are a number and I'll just link to a few in the description below. Feather shuttles because you're being nice and this is a gift and people love feather shuttles. If they use plastic, it'll be fun for them to use feather for a while. And uh, you know, as much as you wanna buy, it would be a very appreciated gift. So definitely, definitely buy good quality shuttles. Don't just go to a badminton store and buy like three tubes of the cheapest brand you can find. Cheap shuttles are worse than no shuttles, okay? So buy, you know, one tube of the really nice shuttles. Everybody would appreciate that. Also really great to buy is um, accessories. You know, things like little sweatbands or the sweat towels. Everybody needs a good sweat towel. So if you go to a badminton store like Yonix, Leaning Victor, they will have some nice sweat towels, some nice sweatbands, things like that, the little accessories that you need while playing badminton. Or also general athletic stuff, um, like massage balls. These are great for all athletes of all sports, but uh, especially badminton players. 
I really love the ball one with these like hard little lumps. Um, I use on my feet a lot because my feet get very tired when I play a lot of badminton. Um, but these are good for all your muscles or something like a foam roller. This one is uh, quite severe with spikes, but you could get just a normal one. Foam rollers are really good, really good for rolling out your muscles both before and after playing badminton and it just feels really good and there's many different routines and things you can find on the internet that will make recovery quicker and it'll make warm up better. So any of this stuff would be really perfect for badminton players. Another great gift idea is clothes. Badminton players, we sweat a lot, so we go through a lot of clothes. <laughs> so, so getting some shirts or some shorts for your favorite badminton friends would always be appreciated. There is one thing about clothes in the badminton world though. The badminton world, like I said, is very international. So the same company makes different sizes for different parts of the world. So for instance, I have this um, Yannick shirt that was made, I think for the north american market which is very small so i think they kind of prepare it for the whole world and look at the sizing okay you have europe extra large america large asia extra extra large and japan extra extra large the same shirt has three different sizes <laughs> depending on where you buy it so when you are buying a shirt make sure you think about that personally i enjoy the Yannix japan clothes the most they seem to have kind of the craziest cutest little cartoon characters and funny shirts that they make for the japan market and sometimes also the china market make sure you buy like an extra size larger if you're buying for a westerner <laughs> you can also buy um shirts that like represent your favorite players like i know taizu yin has her line of shirts and stuff like that so definitely don't be afraid to buy some clothes for your favorite badminton player because we sweat a lot so our clothes don't last that long <laughs> because we have to wash them a lot and then they just begin to fall apart. But what about something a little more fun? Maybe not directly sports related. How about some books? I am a big book reader and I love reading books. So I would definitely, definitely recommend every badminton player could use this book. It's called The Inner Game of Tennis by W. Timothy Galway. And I made a whole video about this book. Yes, it's about tennis not badminton, but it's really much more about like psychology and how to learn and how to, how to improve yourself. And it's through the lens of tennis, which at least they're still using the same terminology. <laughs> at least they're using racket and net and, and words like that. The, the tactics in this book are like really, really good for basically anybody, but especially racket sports. So I, Totally, totally, totally recommend this book. Another book that Victor Axelson said he was reading and recommended on his channel, so I might as well recommend it here. Ego is the Enemy. I have also read this book um, a couple years ago or one year ago. It's all about getting your ego out of the way so that you can kind of get to the core of your life, you know, and not worry about looking stupid or looking cool or, or being too self-important. And in this day and age of social media and you know YouTube videos and all that, definitely, definitely a very helpful thing to get through. And if Victor Axelson recommends it, then you know I wholeheartedly recommend it as well. And kind of along that line, um, I would recommend Tools of Titan by Tim Ferriss. This is the tactics, routines, and habits of billionaire icons and world-class performers. There's no badminton players in here, but it's very kind of short chapters taken from Tim Ferriss's podcast, which I am a fan of. And it's just kind of condensed little nuggets of wisdom about little ways and little things you can do to improve your life, improve your playing, improve your mindset. In general, just an all around good kind of self-improvement book. It's pretty big and heavy, but actually the writing is like really big. So it's actually a lot less reading than it looks like. Then we move on to the fun stuff category. Maybe you just want to be like fun and playful. Yonix has some cute little toys. They have the four masters. Um, I only have two. I only have Lindan and Lee Chang Wei. They have these cute little plastic toys. <laughs> I've bought these and given them as a gift a lot to my coach and some other badminton friends. And you know, they're super cute and I just like having them in my house. Yonix made another toy. Are you ready for this? This is like hideous. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Axelson. 
Isn't this hideous? This is like really just the cheapest, I mean, sorry, Victor Axelson, but this is a hideous, cheap, cheap doll. <laughs> but it's hilarious and it's badminton and there's not a ton of fun, playful stuff for badminton players. So even though it's hideous, it's kind of like, so ugly it's awesome <laughs> so this would be a fun little gift and they also had Lin Dan and Lee Chang Wei equally as ugly but I did feel like the Axelson one was by far the ugliest also little tchotchkes um I know it's kind of hard to find for some reason badminton doesn't just have like a lot of cute fun stuff like you know, kitchen aprons with badminton on it or like little baby clothes that say like, you know, I'm a future badminton player. I don't know why, badminton doesn't have a lot of fun, playful stuff. But my friend Oliver is very clever at um, finding cute badminton stuff when he's out and about. He recently just got me, can you see? It's one of those little charms for your cell phone. So he got me that. He also found this. <laughs> keychain and there was different faces and it has like a string so you can put some keys on it. Other things, I think these kind of keychains are pretty easy to find and they're very cheap. I've also found a badminton bottle opener, <laughs> which I think is cool. I gave these to all my badminton friends one year. Um, I have another friend, my friend Rebecca, she got me a cell phone case, but she got it personalized. So she put the picture of me and Lee Chung Wei and she did writer, traveler, badminton player, which is like from my blogs. So they're not a ton of cute, fun gifts, but there are a couple. So go try to find a badminton shop or a badminton court, a dedicated badminton court. And there's probably gonna be, you know, some fun little keychains or something fun that would just be a cute little gift for anybody that loves badminton. Another thing that I don't have anything to show for, but um, there's a couple of pro players like Victor Axelson and Taizu Yin that they have online shops and they have some unique stuff for badminton is unique to them and not available anywhere else in the world. So I will put the links of their shops and that would be a cool thing for a badminton player and kind of a hard to get gift Although they do ship internationally, it's not a common thing that you can find in a store. And I guess that about wraps it up. Uh, badminton players, I feel like we don't have a ton of stuff compared to like baseball or basketball, you know? I feel like if I was a NBA fan, I would just like have this room filled with like posters and tea towels and all that kind of stuff. Badminton, unfortunately, I would love to have that changed, but badminton doesn't really have much of that. That's the end of my gift guide. Have you gotten something that you love as a gift that I didn't mention? Please make sure to write it down in the comments. Happy shopping and happy holidays. And I hope Santa is very good to you. Oh, wait. I hope Santa is very good to you this year. And I hope you've been good girls and boys on the badminton court. Okay, see you next time. Bye.